Kansas City is nice. Empty shop, empty shop, boats are gone. I legit started this trip out by sleeping in. Uh, I set my alarm for 4.30 this morning. I ended up actually waking up at like 5.15. We, we were supposed to depart at 5.30 and I'm like, I know these guys like, they're gonna be super nice. They're not gonna come down and wake me up. So I'm like, oh sh So I book it over to the shower, jump in there quick, pack up my clothes, run outside. All their boats are loaded and I'm like, good morning. Good morning. Either way, everything's packed up, everything's loaded. Um, our big project that we're all kind of working on together, it starts right now and um, it's gonna be insane. It's gonna be incredible. So we've got 14 hours. Are you hyped? I'm hyped, let's go. Why didn't you wake me up? <laughs> you know, I, uh, I was actually just gonna leave. I was gonna leave you here. <laughs> I was gonna miss the bus. Why didn't you wake me up? You wouldn't have left Sobe. These guys are too kind for me. I was like, why didn't you come downstairs and just break? Either way, we're gonna hop on the road now, probably grab a cup of coffee and then just book it. Book it down south as fast as you can. So we leave in three, two, one. <laughs> Master one to Bassmaster two, uh, I already got to take a leak. So if we can go ahead and just stop up here, that'd be great. He's already got to pee. <laughs> stop number one, making a good choice. Casey's going to get a little coffee, maybe some breakfast pizza, but we're doing good. We're about an hour into the trip. All right, we made it. 14, 18, 59 hours later, we're in Atlanta, Georgia. And um, yeah, we're just, we're pumped to be done driving. We're gonna crush some pizza, get a good night's rest and get on the road in the morning. So that's all I've got for you. It was a great travel day, weather was nice. And um, we're just itching. We're itching to go farther. We're not there yet. We're itching to go farther. So talk to you guys in the morning. Peace. We've made it, we've made it, we've made it, we've made it to the beautiful Sunshine State, Florida. Um, I'm gonna give you a full walk around, full tour where we're staying. Obviously behind me you can see there's a beautiful canopy where both the boats are gonna be parked. And yeah, the guys and us will give you a full tour later, but for now we're gonna get everything unpacked. Just stretch our legs for a bit, it's been a long drive, and um, yeah, just look at this. It's like freaking 70 degrees out, boys. Okay, so we've been at the Airbnb for all of like 30 minutes, and um, I apologize for how crazy random this episode is definitely gonna be, but um, yeah, so the owners of the property, the people that kind of manage it, they, um, they have a farm right over here. There's a whole bunch of land behind us, and they're like, oh, come on a tour, come on a tour. So um, we literally, I think we're about to just go on a tour with some random guys in a gator, or I don't know. Oh, too much, too much pizza. Yeah. Huh? Oh no, you're in low. You might want to be in hot. Oh uh, no, I should go faster than that. Sometimes without seatbelts on, it'll. Uh... Uh -huh. So whenever you go to a new state and you meet random people, always hop in a vehicle yeah, well, with them. So here we go. It is saying stop. Oh, uh, lock. Differential lock. Uh, they catch about a three gator. Uh, I don't know what's going on right now, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we're, we're driving in a motor vehicle. Yeah. Back some paths. Um, I'll probably explain later once we find out where we're going and how they're gonna kill us. <laughs> no, this is sick, look at that, beautiful. And uh, we have a lot of wild animal here. Like we got deer, hog, we have a, like uh, those, uh, uh, what, coyote? Coyote, uh, uh, what do you call, turkey. I mean, a lot of like weasel, different kind of animal live here. <laughs> Thank you so much for the uh, tour. My pleasure. Thank anytime. you. I don't to say it. That was, that was actually awesome. Um, they have a whole bunch of land back there. There's a bunch of creeks, ponds, beautiful oak trees, cypress trees. It's just like. Beautiful land behind us, and uh, these guys were so welcoming. They just gave us a whole tour of the property, and it was awesome. So, the randomness that happens when you travel um, is beautiful, and you can't make it up. So, this video is all over the place, but I don't even care. This is this is what's happening. Alrighty, we're out. We're just exploring. 
Uh, we don't know anything about this pond because obviously we haven't been here long, but it looks extremely fishy. It's pretty good size. It's like, I don't know how many acres it is, but it's not like a tiny little pond. It looks pretty big. Uh, there's a nice dock over there and the water looks semi-clear. I would assume there's probably bass, maybe catfish, maybe like bluegill and probably a couple other species because it looks like it's a healthy pond. The first night we got here, um, we saw a bunch of bait busting, so there's definitely bait in here. It's just a matter if there's actually bass in there. I'll probably keep it pretty simple right away. Maybe I'll start with just like a jig or a Senko or a chatter bait, but right now I'm gonna walk to the other end of the pond because it looks like there's a little creek that pours in there. So when pond fishing, I like to start out in those high percentage areas where there's fresh water coming in or out, or maybe there's a bunch of laydowns or a bunch of rocks or a bunch of wood in the water. I just kind of like to start around either new water coming in or some obvious structure. Okay, so obviously I'm from Minnesota. So every time I come to Florida and whether I'm fishing in a boat or I'm pond hopping, I'm always just like on high alert because I feel like every little piece of water around here in Florida could potentially have gators in it. And this looks like just a freaking home for gators. So I don't know if there's any around here or if I'll see any, but if I do, I'll definitely tell you guys. Okay, I've made it to the section of the pond. That looks pretty cool. It's right by the mouth of the creek. I brought two rods with me. One rod, I just got like a, a small hook on there for Wacky Rig Cinco. And the other rod, I've got a chatter bait. Already along with those baits, I also brought my Monster Bass Box down to Florida. It has a bunch of random baits in it. If you don't know what this is, make sure you check my link in the description. It's basically just a monthly subscription box that sends you baits. It's super cool. Um, baits that I have in my December box. Ooh, like a single looking bait with feathers on the back. I've never even seen, I've never even seen plastics like this. That's sick. Ooh, topwater spider, some Ned rigs. Ooh, some big worm hooks. Uh, looks like a beautiful drop shot bait, a classic rattle trap, a booyah popper, and another popper. Perfect. That hula popper might work tonight. Okay, so I've got a bunch of baits in here. I have a bunch of different options. I've got a little while to fish this pond here. And like I said, I don't even know if fish live in here. So this is just kind of a shot in the dark, but uh, yeah, let's give it a go. First cast. Just saw fish boil out there. I don't know if that was a bass or a little bait fish. Oh, I just got hit. I just got hit. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. You guys, I just literally made like my third cast and I take a look to my right and look at that right there on that sand point. I don't know if you can see it or not, there's just an alligator sunning himself. I am probably no more than 10 yards away from him. Oh my God, I did not even see him walking down here. I talked to you about my monster bass box. Oh my gosh, I'll pick up the big camera and show you where he's at. Oh, it's not a big one, it's probably like a three and a half foot or something like that, but literally right there. And he seems pretty relaxed, it's not a big one. I don't know, it's right into the sun, I'll try and zoom in on it. Can you, can you guys see him right there? That's the gator right there. He's just laying. Okay, so there's definitely gators in this pond. Fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on. Oh my gosh, it feels good, you guys. What the heck is this? It feels good, I just wanna see it. I just wanna see it. Oh, I got him though. Fish on, I just wanna see it. I don't know what the heck this is, you guys. I don't know what the heck this is. What the heck? This is a bowfin? Yeah. I think this is a bowfin. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh, check him out. There's a bowfin hook just popped out and there he goes right into the water. <laughs> I scared my alligator friend and I just caught a bowfin. Up north we call those dogfish. I don't know if it's a different strain of them, but <laughs> that was sick. Hopefully you guys saw that. Hook pop right out on that freaking little worm. <laughs> that was sick. That was sick. All right. All right. I'm gonna get myself another one of these suckers and keep casting. All righty, I'm gonna change spots here just because Mr. Alligator hopped off his perch and he's kind of swimming over by me. So, not that I don't want to fish by him, but I just 
don't want to fish by him. So yeah, there's a lot more laydowns over here. So I'm gonna put on this worm hook that came in my box just so I can make my Cinco weedless. I'm still gonna go weightless just because I don't wanna walk all the way back to the Airbnb and rig up a bullet weight if that just worked. I'd obviously like to get a bass, but I'm just, I'm pumped to catch anything down here open water. This is awesome. All right, well, there's Mr. Alligator and he's just not scared. I was fishing over there. He jumped off of there and has followed me all the way here. So, dude, I like you, hi, but leave me alone. Okay, go away. All right, cool. All right, you, all right, see you later. Keep seeing a bunch of boils back here. They kind of like, this is that creek that runs into this pond and I keep seeing a bunch of either bait busting or something boiling back here. Whatever it is, I'm gonna catch it. Fish on, fish on. Oh, it's another one of those, another one of those dogfish, dude. That's sweet. This pond must be loaded with those dogfish, or maybe just they're down by this end of the lake because there's a bunch of water coming in, but what the heck, dude? That's sick. I think I just need to stick them harder. Oh, there we go, fish on, fish on. There we go, got him. Oh, that was sick. Holy smokes, they fight hard. Oh gosh, I freaking got this sucker. All right, I'm at like a really high, I'm gonna just bolt flip him up in, on here. Get up here. <laughs> that was sick. Oh gosh, they're biting so light, they're barely getting their hooks in their mouth. I finally got this sucker. Look at that, sweet. Definitely a bowfin. All right, cool, 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 cool. All right, pond fishing. See you, buddy. <laughs> that was sick. The sun is just setting. Oh, that Cinco was just slowly, slowly sinking, and I was honestly not even paying attention. All of a sudden, my line just tightened, and oh, they got such hard mouths, and they're such freaks in nature. You definitely need to use braid. All right. Well, it's no giant pond bass, but it's a fish, and it's an open water fish. I'm pumped. Move ahead, oh my pretty babe. Something ain't right. Got to find a way to move ahead. Move ahead, oh my pretty babe.